what made me fall in love with professional wrestling. I had my first taste and eyes, my view on professional wrestling on an episode of Monday Night Raw where Eric Bischoff got fired and thrown into a dumpster. Ever since then, I've been watching WWE nonstop and one of the things that really got me in love with professional wrestling was the heated rivalry between John Cena and Edge. Uh, well, in our first singles match ever, he beat me. So I guess that stands for something. And uh, now if I send him messages on Facebook, he just won't fucking answer me. But I like him. He's good enough. Even though he beat me. He'll tell you about it. Did you tell him about it? Yeah, I beat him after I after I laid out an open challenge at Undiscovered 14. Probably remembers the date, too. I've always been known to be, like, a physical embodiment of encyclopedia here because of how much I just can remember. And, honestly, the reason how I just remembered so much is just... I just look at it like all the time, like whether it's like something I enjoyed from when I, like when I was a kid, whether it's like a movie, a video game, or a certain character to a certain professional wrestling match in like WWE, TNA, or even some of the indies at the time. Four four zero is such a stable field of full of cowards. They came here because they didn't want Matt to retire in peace. They destroyed this, this building. They left my friends on the ground. They stole stuff that don't belong to them. And I'm just pissed. That leaves me pissed off. And, my, and what my goal is, is when it comes to 440 is to help H2O drive them out, out of Williamstown, Hill, New Jersey, and give it, them packing back to Ohio. I've had Asperger's since I was like really young, um, at least since I was like maybe in first grade. It's given me like a huge effect like negatively because I've always had social issues growing up. I some, it sometimes got to the point where I get like anxiety along with um, being afraid to be so open to anyone, including my own parents. And honestly, even when I was making friends, I never really knew like how much that could just make it worse sometimes, being a guy that got stabbed in the back by people that you would consider brothers and sisters or even someone being in somewhat of a relationship. But, but in professional wrestling, it helped. It helped me because it made me realize what kind of people re can really be, what, what kind of people are like the roots of the trees and what kind of people are like the branches and leaves. And ever since I joined professional wrestling, I, I've helped myself get better and better and better. Because every time I talk, I would stutter from time to time. But the way I am right now is nothing compared to how I was back then. And I'm forever grateful for professional wrestling for helping me get through it like that. But honestly, there's no way I would have ever been able to be at H2O if it wasn't for Austin Luke. And that's why I, I also credit most of my stuff off I've ever done and achieved since then to him as well because without without Austin Luke there probably won't be any sort of big red Ryan Redfield here in H2O or in professional wrestling. I've known Ryan since he like started training since when he was you know a lot bigger than he is now a lot different and I said after I wrestled with him uh, I said after the match I, everything I, I meant all of it uh, there's very few people in wrestling that I consider like family you know there's, there's quite a bit here at H2O but uh, there's Marcus Mathers, that is my little brother, and there's him, who's he's my other brother. He's someone I, I've, I've known him since he just started. Um, one of my favorite people to be in a ring with. Uh, one of my favorite people to just hang out with outside of wrestling and just talk about it. 
because uh, he doesn't forget any of it, and he reminds me about my own career, about things that I forget, and I've only been doing it for two years. Um, it's like Wikipedia. Exactly. He just has this, uh, what's the word, um, eidetic memory, something like that? Yeah. He just has one, photographic, there you go, he's got a photographic memory. And, uh, yeah, he's just, he's one of my, my brother's my little brother, even though he's older than me. But he's actually only, uh, like, no, because you're a leap year baby, you're like four or five, whatever. He's just my five-year-old younger brother. Um, but yeah, he's just one of the people who has the most passion about wrestling. And it's just something you can tell just from his existence. You can feel it off of him, his passion and his, he's eat, sleeping and breathing wrestling. It's all he thinks about, it's all he talks about. It's, he's just like I am in that aspect of how much he loves it. And, not a lot of people love it like that, like he does, and yeah, that's it. He just he he loves wrestling just as much as I love wrestling. Yeah, uh, like two months it was. It's only like two months after they're already running classes. I show up and started training, and then uh, I told you I was training here, I'm texting you, messaging you, like, hey, it's the same place, it's just better people, like. Just a better training, better environment. I remember you being like, you weren't like, you were nervous just because, like, I don't know, how old were you? Like 17, 18? 18. 18 years, 18 year old kid who's anxious about everything. I'm, st I'm 19, I'm still that way. Uh, you were anxious about coming here, and then it already, from where we were, we were given like a stigma about H2O and hardcore wrestling that we were gonna be forced to pump on the concrete type bullshit. Yeah. That's what they were telling us, you know. So you were nervous about coming here. I just remember your mom not wanting you to train here because you had probably told her everything we were told and, and it was all wrong you know yeah and but uh the thing that actually um got me to uh come here to h2o was when you and i had had that text message which is text messaging on the phone that day like right. uh, like two days before i showed up it was just like hey just come just come here bring five dollars and you'll be fine and you'll be fine and i came here to h2o met matt Tremont and every other uh, and every other of the um rising stars of the academy and stuff that have been training here and busting their asses off of and the rest is just history who is big red ryan redfield i am big red ryan redfield and I'm here at H2O to prove a point. And I'm here at H2O to go all the way up to the top. Whether, whether it's defeat eating and defeating and defeating opponent after opponent, winning Hardcore Kingdom, or even my mo most prestigious goal of them all, becoming an H2O World Heavyweight Champion.